science and philosophy converge. It challenges our understanding of consciousness, existence, and the nature of the cosmos itself. Recent research, particularly the work of astrophysicist Franco Vazza and neurosurgeon Alberto Felletti, provides intriguing insights into the potential connections between the structures of the brain and the universe. The research of Vazza and Felletti in 2020, Vazza and Felletti embarked on a groundbreaking study that examined the similarities between the human brain and the universe. Their investigation revolved around three key parameters, appearance, structure, and composition. Using advanced imaging techniques, they magnified brain samples and discovered patterns reminiscent of galaxy formations. This unexpected correlation prompted a deeper exploration of how these two seemingly disparate entities might be interconnected. 1. Appearance When comparing the appearance of brain structures to cosmic formations, the researchers found that at a certain magnification, the intricate networks of neurons bore a striking resemblance to the distribution of galaxies. The visual parallels raised the question, could our universe be a reflection of a more complex, intelligent system? 2. Structure Delving into the structural similarities, Vaza and Felletti noted that a typical neuron connects with approximately four other neurons. In the vast expanse of the universe, a galaxy connects with an average of five neighboring galaxies. This pattern of connectivity suggests a similar operational framework between the brain and the cosmos, where each entity functions as part of a larger whole. 3. Composition Composition plays a critical role in understanding both systems. The brain consists predominantly of water and organic materials, while the universe is primarily made up of dark energy and dark matter, substances that are inert and largely unobservable. Despite these differences, the percentage of these inert materials is strikingly similar, about 70% in both cases. The philosophical implications these findings lead us to contemplate profound philosophical questions about the nature of consciousness. If the universe exhibits structural and compositional similarities to a brain, could it also possess a form of consciousness? This inquiry not only challenges scientific boundaries but also prompts us to reconsider the essence of life itself. Consciousness and the cosmos The idea that the universe might possess consciousness has historical roots in various philosophical traditions. From Eastern philosophies that speak of a universal consciousness to Western metaphysical inquiries, the concept of a conscious universe invites diverse interpretations. The nature of thought if universal events can be seen as the thoughts of the universe, what does this mean for our understanding of thought itself? In the human brain, thoughts arise from complex interactions between neurons. Similarly, cosmic events, such as the collision of celestial bodies or the formation of new stars, could be interpreted as the universe's way of thinking. Bridging physics and metaphysics One of the most significant challenges in modern physics is unifying the principles of quantum mechanics and general relativity. While quantum mechanics governs the behavior of subatomic particles, general relativity describes the gravitational interactions of massive objects. These two frameworks operate independently, leading to questions about the nature of reality itself. Quantum mechanics and general relativity understanding the universe as a brain-like entity could provide new insights into bridging these two realms. If the universe operates under a unified principle, akin to the way a brain functions, scientists might uncover new theories that describe the behavior of everything from protons to galaxies. The search for a theory of everything physicists have long sought a theory of everything a single equation that encompasses all physical phenomena. The implications of considering the universe as a brain could offer a new perspective in this quest, revealing interconnectedness previously overlooked. The role of perception skeptics argue that our interpretations may be influenced by confirmation bias, leading us to see patterns where none exist. This perspective raises questions about the nature of perception itself. 
Just as optical illusions can deceive our senses, might our understanding of the universe be similarly flawed. The illusion of structure an example often cited is how structures can appear to represent faces or familiar shapes when viewed from specific angles. This phenomenon, known as pareidolia, reminds us that our brains are wired to recognize patterns, which may lead to misleading conclusions about the universe's nature. A new perspective if we assume that our observations are accurate, the idea of the universe as a living brain presents exciting possibilities. However, we must also acknowledge the limits of our understanding and the need for more rigorous scientific proof. The universe and the concept of life what does it mean for something to be alive? Traditional definitions of life involve growth, reproduction, response to stimuli, and metabolism. Applying these criteria to the universe requires careful consideration. Are cosmic events alive? Cosmic events, such as the birth of stars or the formation of galaxies, could be seen as analogous to biological processes. However, without consciousness or intent, can we genuinely classify the universe as alive? This remains an open question in both science and philosophy. The search for extraterrestrial life the quest to find extraterrestrial life expands our understanding of what it means to be alive. If life exists beyond Earth, it may challenge our definitions and encourage us to explore the interconnectedness of all existence. The technological frontier as we advance technologically, we approach the potential for manipulating matter and energy at unprecedented scales. Nanobots, tiny robots capable of self-replication, are at the forefront of this exploration. The promise of nanotechnology the implications of nanotechnology could be profound. Researchers are already experimenting with cells that exhibit behavior reminiscent of intelligence systems. If nanobots can replicate and form complex networks, they may pave the way for a new form of consciousness, one that spans across planets and galaxies. Risks and ethical considerations however, the power of nanotechnology also raises ethical concerns. The potential for misuse could lead to catastrophic consequences. Safeguarding against these risks is imperative as we navigate this new frontier. Conclusion in contemplating whether our universe is the brain of a super-intelligent being, we embark on a journey that blends science, philosophy, and ethics. The research of Vaza and Feletti challenges us to re-evaluate our understanding of consciousness and the cosmos. As we explore the universe's mysteries, we must remain vigilant in our pursuit of knowledge, ensuring that we use our advancements responsibly. Ultimately, the question may not only lead to scientific discoveries but also enrich our philosophical understanding of existence itself. Final thoughts this exploration invites you, the reader, to reflect on your perspective. Do you believe the universe operates like a brain? Or is this merely a captivating metaphor? As we seek answers, one thing remains clear, the universe, much like our mind, 